The world came to Southfield's doorstep via a week-long program that sought to foster a better understanding of diverse cultures, countries, and faiths. Lawrence Tech University hosted its first Global Village Project, a broad and wide-ranging program that was open to college-age students, their families, and other adults. The event was chock full of discussion forums, enrichment sessions, field trips, and educational attractions that emphasized the need to prepare students to think and act globally. Well, Glo Global Village is uh, an idea and a paradigm that is both c contemporary and futuristic. The world is no more in silos. Education has no borders. Countries have political borders. You know, where you draw a line, this side is Canada, this side is United States, and any other country. But education has no borders. You can go to online and be talking to people in Russia, England, Africa at the same time. So education has no borders. So world in large actually has become a global village where we can on a continuous spur of the moment pick up a phone, go to internet and talk to anybody in the world. Now when that is the case, we need to prepare our students so they are good citizens of global village. In that order, they need to know what are the global issues. How can they be successful in a global environment? It's a great project. Um, we, um, a lot of people don't realize, we have over 600 international students that study at Lawrence Tech and live here in Southfield, Michigan. And seeing the cultures emerge and um, seeing these students um, build camaraderie, the respect they, they gain for America, but also our American students learning so much about other cultures, it's just a great interaction. And we know that these are going to be our future business leaders and politicians, so it's a great starting point. A major focus was the advancement of technology, thus making it essential for students to view the world from a global perspective. So this program we're enrolled in is called Global Village. Um, basically, um, the president, Dr. Maggio, he uh, wants us to know more about the international side. You know, we don't want to just stick to America, because when we're on the job field, we'll be talking with people from all over the world and you know getting to understand their culture again to know that have that open mind to other cultures is a big benefit to our job so I mean this week is all about us learning about new things new cultures new traditions um, in our leadership classes and uh, world masterpieces classes we got a pamphlet for the global village project um, I read through it and I was really interested in learning about other cultures I'm Native American so like it's kind of weird to like tell people about my culture, but um, I think it's a great way to learn about new cultures and just get to know people. Like, I don't look Native American, but like it's a big part of who I am. So I just wanted to get to know everybody. Um, I've learned a lot about religion. Like, there are a lot of religions that I didn't even know existed. Um, we had a lecture type seminar yesterday about religion, and we had a panel of six people and they just gave a brief overview of their religion and how they worship their God or, and how they act like in society. And it was really nice to see all of the religions like having a civil conversation with each other and learning more about each other. And it's, a lot of religions are very common. Um, and I just, it was so interesting because there's just little differences that people pick up on, but it's the commonalities that are really the best part. <laughs> LTU staff and faculty hope that the initiative helps students to develop into the leaders of tomorrow. We want our students to be leaders and if they're going to be leaders they're going to have to be able to deal with students of different backgrounds and uh, people in business of different uh, religions and faiths and cultures. This gives them that opportunity to start to learn that and see what we all have in common and then where we have our differences how we can work through those and I think that's extremely important. Uh, it's hopefully what will separate them out as they take their education and leave here. For example, my son or your daughter, they may be going for a very great opportunity in, a, in Europe or Africa or Asia. We need to prepare them to know the culture, respect of people and ideas that are different than them. So they don't have to adopt them, but they need to understand them so that they can work well in a different environment. Similarly, when they come here, they need to learn American ways. And this global village concept is to prepare and empower our students on global issues, terrorism, peace, global financial issues, intercultural issues, um, interfaith issues. We have the world is in turmoil with uh, insurgencies of people who are extremists in all faiths. 
So we need to understand that why are people behaving in a way other than ours? What will it take to bring them back to peace and harmony? You can only do that if you understand it. And that's what the Adir Global Village is, that we want our students to be empowered with information and knowledge, that they can be successful and make a great career, regardless of where they work, which country or state they work. And the world will be a, 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 a much, much better, better place if our citizen, our global citizen also. To learn more about various Lawrence Tech events and programs, visit ltu.edu.